Hey guys, this is Michael from Michael Two Page D, and I know that right now you're not staring at my handsome, handsome face, but you're staring at a live butterfly specimen. But that's because we're gonna be mounting the specimens. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the mounting. My former cameraman, who is the professional in the field of butterflies, is gonna do the mounting. He has mounted this beautiful northern art, which he has brought all the way from Mexico. Since this was founded, it doesn't really look so pretty. But this we got from a farm for free since there's a slight formality. Now this wing, the one that I'm right now, well, the one that you're right now staring at is, yes, the one that we're right now pointing at is not deformed. So that is a normal wing. So uh, we're going to now mount the deformed wing and you're going to see, and you're going to do the exact same thing from the normal wing. So first thing you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to take your parchment paper slide and you're going to place it over the wing. And then you're going to want to pin your parchment paper slide in place. After that, you're going to leave half open and you're going to carefully adjust your butterfly's wing until whatever shape you wanted. Now, this is an unnatural state, but it looks a little more nicer like this. So whenever you're going to buy a dead butterfly, it's probably going to be in the state. So you're going to do that to both your hind and your forewing. Sorry, I'm the camera in here. Even if your wings are deformed. Now, a slight deformation like this can still be mounted. But if it's like a very, very big deformation, the chance of you mounting it isn't so big. So anyway, after that, what you want to do with the deformed wing is that you're going to carefully try to decrimple it. So how are you going to do this? Yes, that there is the crimple point. So how are you going to do this is that you're going to grab a second sheet of parchment paper. Which my cameraman put somewhere. You're going to grab a second sheet of parchment paper. There it is, there it is. And you're going to place that over the deformed bits of the wing. So this way it's a little more easier to work with. You're going to then pin that down with your insect pins or snobble sewing pins because we're using sewing pins. And then you're going to carefully try to uncrimple the wing. So what you're going to do is that with the bottom, sorry, the head of your needle, you're going to carefully try to smoothen over the crimpled bits about your wing, trying to recrimple it. You can just do this with your finger if you like. So in this case, I'm going to be doing this with my finger. So I have my finger placed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly put down this insect pin. Trying to quickly put it down before the crimpled, well, before the crimpled can change positions. I'm using quite a few insect pins. This might not work for all, because since this is slightly deformation, it's going to work. And I'm sorry if we're giving you very, very little content, but my cameraman doesn't really like to speak. That's why he's muted in this video. She doesn't want to speak. Okay, so anyway, after this, you're going to dry your butterfly for around two to three days. Now, um, how I got this butterfly to this state is that out of my relaxation chamber, if you don't know what that is, check out our first video. It's untitled because my cameraman, with the editing, forgot to add a title. <laughs> yes, so then you're going to rehydrate your butterfly, which is just moistening up the damp cloths, um, and then putting your butterfly in them, and then adding them, adding, adding the butterfly in the moistened dehydration chamber into the fridge for a few days until it's well movable with your hands. After that, you can begin mounting. So this first needle here was done through the thorax. So now my camera went, man, went away somewhere to play with my African grey. So either way, you're gonna leave it to dry. Once it is done drying, you can take out your butterfly. So here we have an already done dried monarch. We used a little less pins because it's already been dried. And then we just take out the pins for it to dry a little more. You're gonna do is you're gonna carefully remove the pins. These are my hands. The cameraman's gone back to play with the bird. My bird. It's an African grey. Beautiful bird. So you're gonna carefully take the pins out. Oh, here's the cameraman. Wondering what I've been doing to his monarch. So you, when you're done with that, oh, camera's hands back. You're gonna lift your butterfly by that central pin and look at that beautiful. Antennaless, abdominless morpho. This here was collected from uh, Mexico. So we're right now in Singapore. So yes, it is a beautiful specimen, as you can see, quite well mounted. 
This here was mounted by my cameraman. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna, actually never mind, you know. Now that my camera's here and it's here, no point showing his face. So either way, without further ado, why don't we just end this video? Good tell him.